Barneveld and Cuba City will be the first local teams to play at the WIAA State Girls Basketball Tournament at its new home at the Rush Center in Ashwaubenon. The Eagles will play in the Division 5 semifinals at 3.15 tomorrow afternoon, while Cuba City plays at 6.35 in Division 4. Friday morning, Lodi faces Kiwani at 9.05. The Blue Devils are led by a father-daughter coaching combination that has led them to state for the first time. Emily Cumlin has our story from Lodi. This community is just overwhelmed with basketball and it's great. A week after the Lodi boys team took second at state, the girls team will make its first ever trip to state Friday morning in Green Bay. It is complete whirlwind. It doesn't feel real quite yet. We call it good chaos. Head coach Christy Paskey played at state back in 1995 for Marquezan High School. You know it's a once in a lifetime experience. You can't ever count on getting back there again. So enjoy every moment while you're there. Her dad, Dan Sigerslid, was her head coach back then but now he's come out of retirement to be her assistant. Um, I mean, I get to spend every day with my dad and we get to share a passion that we both have for a game. All the knowledge that he has has really helped us grow as coaches and as a program. Experience something really good, especially between father and daughter, you know, with Christy getting a chance now to get to the state tournament like we did when I was coaching before. Just an extra mind there on the bench to try to get things working the way we want it to. I just think it's awesome that they're together. Like the other night when we were winning at the sectional final, she started bowling and they hugged each other and just made me want to cry too because it was so special. The dedicated Lodi community followed the boys to Madison last week and they'll do the same for the girls this week in Green Bay, even if it means a really early wake up call Friday morning. The pep band who we're, we're very happy that they come to our games, they have to get up at four and come and head out. It's so awesome that they're doing that for us and we couldn't thank them enough. So don't be late. The bus leaves at 5 a.m. Friday and a once in a lifetime experience for the whole community awaits. In Lodi, Emily Cumlin, News 3 Sports. Don't forget, News 3 this morning starts at 4.30 so you can <laughs> get on the bus after that. There you go. Great Sleep when you die, <laughs> like it said. Thanks, Jay, Jay. thanks. We'll be right back.